On this episode of Penny's Hot Rods and Customs, we're in the tanks. I don't know, it's the best I got on short notice. Pretty crappy. But anyways, we got a new fuel tank sender, and it came with a new lock ring and a new O-ring. So what I'm going to do now just to get in here, just put a wire wheel on an electric drill, and just kind of just give it, kind of get just a little, most of the cred out, then we'll do, we've got to do one more flush on the tank, and then we'll put the new sending unit in. Yeah, Derek said save the uh, the goop stuff in there. He says yeah. you can reuse it. So. Yeah, the only thing is I find it evaporates over time. Well, I'm sure it probably love it's evaporated something like this for two and a half weeks. Yeah, because I said I, I, you know, we use it before. Actually, I got some parts in the garage there, and it does evaporate over time. But yeah, but yeah so we'll just use the old uh, uh, wire brush on a drill. And... and if you're asking... For this car, since it's a Canadian Pontiac, you cannot buy a repo tank. If it was an American Pontiac. Actually, I think I might have found a tank. You I do? think they do make them. Okay. But yeah, I got a kidney. Well, that's but yeah, because if it's a '61 like American Pontiac, like a uh, was it Catalina or whatever, yeah, they, they, they're like 120 bucks. And this, like I said, yeah, for the sending units, they're cheap. The sending units are there. You get the sending unit for a Canadian Pontiac, but not an American, not a not a tank. Mm -hmm. So just not the demand, I guess. But yeah, so we'll clean this guy up and then we'll uh, throw some uh, petroleum jelly on the seal there and put her in. And then, uh, then I'll wire wheel the uh, the outside, just kind of get the scale off it. Um, and then... Uh, I'd run a few fuel filters. Oh yeah, there. that's that's my plan. That's my whole plan. Yeah, we're going to run one cheap plastic fuel filter, then another one, and yeah. another one, and as soon as the first one, like we used to do way back in the day. Yeah, and then you kind of know that most of the junk is out of the center. Exactly. Out of it. So yeah. All right. I'm not paying you nothing to do nothing. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Here. Yeah. Well, I still owe you for that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll let you build it. We'll build up the tab. Mm -hmm. I, I paid off, except for I always still ten bucks. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait till it gets built up again. Then I get the text saying, "Hey, you gotta pay me some money." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deadbeats, people. Deadbeats. I pay. Mm -hmm. It's Kevin that doesn't. He finally paid. Anyways. <laughs> See, it wasn't so lazy. I'd run an airline out here with a die grinder, but the cordless is just easier and faster. Big thing is here, right where the O-ring sits. Here's the old one, but where this guy sits here. That way you get a nice seal here, doesn't cut the O-ring. I'll get that nice and cleaned out like that. Want that compressed uh, air over here? Or? I think I'll drive the tank over there. Yeah. I can bring the line here. Yeah. Okay. I just broke it. Like I said, I got that where the where that's where I'm more concerned about where yeah. the O-ring sits. I'll grab I, mean, a I, I can put my finger in here, right? Yeah. And you still get like fines yeah. in that in here. Yeah. I'll uh, grab a funnel and then we'll dump that stuff back in. I'm just curious if I go in here with a flashlight. I, I tried, but I couldn't really see my. Else, my eyes are screwed. No, I yeah. same old story. I can see down the bottom. Well, that's not bad, but there's still some rust. Oh, oh. you okay, Casey? Holy crap! You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Good thing you got a work shirt on. Why? What happened? I just I got a, It's on my shoe, by the way. Oh, good thing he's getting new shoes next well, week. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I'll have a cow. Well, I think we're buying him new shoes next right. week. Here goes a dual shirt. That's why you're wearing a work shirt. Right. It wouldn't have hit my back to this 50 shirt anyways. Oh, oh. <laughs> Exactly. I don't know why we're recording this. People are just watching stupidity, but anyway. Oh! Yeah, they well, you see junk come out. That's a plus. And I'll see what would be smarter to get a bigger funnel here. But... Yeah, a lot of black crud. You smell stale fuel. I think this stuff might be just garbage. Yeah. This is just crap. I just smell stale fuel coming in here. I'd say you're probably nearing the end of what we need to. Yeah, I think we'll just get rid of that stuff. Oh, you just smell the steel. If you had smell a vision, folks, you just smell the steel fuel varnish. Yeah. I wonder if it lights on fire. Uh, I was always going to take the gases out, or I was going to try to see if it light on fire. Uh, probably. Oops, right. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of black crap coming up. That's good. Like with my, with even my phone, like look at that, I don't even get that case, all the junk that's coming out of here.
I'm sorry. I'm back all over my hands again. <laughs> He's smelling that for a week. Oh, uh -huh. I'll say this, Dawn, Dawn does wonders. Is that the stuff they use for cleaning? Uh, that little duck cell, yeah. Well, that was a big chunk yeah, of black. I saw that come on. Yeah, look, at that funnel was clean. Mm-hmm. Was. Well, I thought they clean again, but... Yeah, no, no, I'm saying there's how much yeah. shit that came on. Here's a... Uh, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go get some rags. Yeah. Oh, here, These are going to be just soaked out. Go, go. Yeah, at least... It, cat pee and no, no, dog they're, pee. They're, they're a week old. Rat pee. I can go with the rat. That's right, I said it. <laughs> We need Mike Rowe. That's his name for yeah. Dirty Dog. Look at the crap where he just comes out. We put a bunch of diesel fuel in it, dumped it carefully. I'm also uh, working the old one in there. Right while well, I'm doing it, you want to lift it up and yeah. pull it up. Okay, Dave, Mike did a good action video here. Crap coming out. Every time you see it, I'm going to have video. Yeah. Oh. Look at all the crap. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you want to just draw a block. Try to get in a good shape. Alright, you can see that. But now it's just more, the solids aren't there, it's just more, just, what do you say, rusty. Aye. Like I said, you're not seeing the solids anymore. No. I think it'll be alright with a few tanks of, uh, like, cream to run it through and, like you said, have a couple of fuel filters. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just got fresh wash the outside, that'll probably wash this. And... Let's take a walk over here. Yeah, let's do it. Look at this. No. It goes even all the way over there. Well, that's the way how the, there, there's actually a, a trench there. I got some over the way the line slopes in. There's actually a trench there. Well, we're back from work here. It's all clean. We coated the, the inside with um, diesel just to kind of allow it. I hope it doesn't flash rust. No, I'm trying to remember if that's got to go in like that. Like that. Like that. There you go. And I'm assuming it goes in like... I'm guessing it's supposed to. I didn't take it out. I'm guessing it's supposed to. Yep. Because you have a third slot over here. Oh no, it's yeah, it's only those two. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think it only goes one way. Yeah, they have an index, so we can do that. Stupid question. Could, oh yeah, the old ring. Oh shit, I didn't put the old ring on. That's my language, folks. Rock bro. That was just a test to see if it. Fits. Yeah, there you go. We weren't sure if the tie one these things would fit. Yeah, the ring goes over top. Small as I did one of these. Yeah, because then the ring goes over the top of it. Does it? Yeah. Because then, yeah, when you go over to do the final install, this ring goes over the top, yeah. correct? There you go. Okay. Yep. So I'll put a little bit of goop on yeah, we, the... You should watch a YouTube video. I'm sure there's a million out there. Probably. There's people smarter than me. Or me. Put some assembly lube on here. Just to give the o ring a little bit of lubricity. And then after when it's all said and done, people all quickly wire wheel it up. 
paint it whatever color I have in the cabinet. So far, it didn't have any leaks when we filled it full of water, so that's a good thing. I'll move that up just a little bit. Man, after this, I feel almost the TV calling my name. Yeah. I think we gotta go to Corey's tonight. Yeah. We gotta go to Corey Days. Buy overpriced lemonade, possibly taco in a bag. And donuts. And donuts. Mini donuts. You can see lots of carnies. Yeah. They seem like a good weather for it today. I'll give them that though. Yeah, you get rain. <sighs> okay, that seems better. That's better. All right. Put the lock ring in there. And... No. Let it sit for five days. Why? Why are you gonna let it sit for five days? I thought that's the entire point of it. No. No, I'm gonna wire wheel it up. Yeah, it's been a while since I did one of these. I'm trying to remember how these go. Yeah, you gotta turn it around. It goes that way. They got the other way. Yeah. You need those tags to uh, hang on. Ah, there you go. Okay. I guess it's been a long time actually since I did one of these. So we just need a hammer. Yeah. yeah, there's a hammer there. And just a little taps and you're good to go. You fold them over or no? Nah. No, they're, they're just there for. They're not there to fold over. Nope. Just give them some taps. I'm still gonna give a fold. There you go. All right. Install. So now you gotta hook your ground and then hook that up. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'll mask that off and then uh, mask off the opening and then I'll uh, wire wheel it up just roughly and okay. that's it for us for today. Yep. And after that, then I got the coach calling my name. Yeah. Everybody's on their phones. Oh. Yeah, no, I said so. We, I'm we on gotta, the camera. We gotta take, take little Abdul here to the uh, Shamraz. Little Shamraz. Do you think we get Shamraz to make a special guest appearance? Probably oh, not. <laughs> He's in at work on a work visa right now. Who should kill? No, should uh, Shamraz. He was in. Well, he's at work. I think oh. he was there. He wasn't there yesterday. Oh, he was there okay. Enough about Shamwell. Shamraz. Shamraz. Well, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Anyways, we'll hand her back over to Corey. You can shut it off now, dipshit. Is that the end of the video? Or? Oh no. Oh. Well, we're waiting time on Christopher. He says he put his shoes on like an hour ago, so <laughs> if you know Christopher, he's not the most punctual person, especially on weekends. It's his time. Anyways, we're working on Corey's gas tank here. You'll see, is this going to be on this video? The other video cleaning it out? Or? Yeah, it'll be this video. Oh, you'll see early in the video, we clean this thing out. Got crap, tons of crap out of it, so it's going to go in. It was supposed to be gold paint. It's more like platinum. So yeah, I'm getting red. <laughs> we're going to get a can of paint and paint over it. So yeah, I'm, I say it's a gas tank. Who gives a crap? But he cares. So Or I just paint the bottom of it because you're never going to see the top. Actually, the bottom is painted gold. The top is painted still gray primer. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's a gas tank. As long as it's protected. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah, Derek got me new lines. Actually, I found a spool. I got a whole spool in my garage that you got me when I did the Henry J. So I got more than enough fuel line. Yeah, I gotta get a fuel filter though. Because remember, your 516 off the pickup. Yeah. If you're gonna so, yeah. Fly you get fuel filter. I used that for the Henry J. Oh, okay. If I was him on this for the first time, I'd run a couple. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna run two pickups, or three. Oh, you're yeah. You're gonna, no matter what you're gonna get, pick up junk. Yeah. So, anyway, I think today what we were gonna do, or at least right now, anyway, we're not gonna do it. We're going for a car show. Like I said, we're waiting for Chris. Take that. Derek's gonna take Kevin's Ford. Kevin's where? He's in uh, Cody, Wyoming right now. Uh, We're down to Yellowstone National Park for the American people. They will know exactly where that is. So, Kevin and Casey, they're their problem. Exactly. Yeah, they're they're way they're they're way like long way that way by the by the by the mountains there. So, yeah. for Yogi Bear. Well, they might find him today. You never know. Uh -huh. Well, we finally met up with Chris. We're about an hour away from home. Like I said, you can't work on cars all the time, so it's nice to kind of go for a car show once in a while. Try right, can't hear me too well. But yeah, up there, there's. Chris, ladies and gentlemen, 
Yep. Uh, so we're installing a very crappy paint job gas tank. Corey's refurbished. Uh, got a new sender unit. Yep. But as you can see, it's got a nice shiny paint down here and primer up here because he ran out of this nice shiny paint. <laughs> cheap, cheap. Uh, hey, yeah. Home Hardware was closed today. I was going to buy paint, whatever. I thought about actually painting it blue. <laughs> yeah. Well, I could paint it black. But, you know. That's like putting smiley faces on your rear, your rear diff cover. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't done that. You can't see mine. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't do things like silly things like that. Well, if you're worried about painting it, wait. No, I really, I don't painting. care. I don't care. I like it the way it is. It's fine. How's I, your straps? They strap. <laughs> oh, you, you, they're existing. Though. They're existing. Yeah, they're underneath they're, the car. They're so they're not virtual. No, they're they're in rough shape, but. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll put it in and uh, fight with it and stick it in and hook up the that thing my bobber and. Call it good to go. Sure. sure. Ooh, a nice breeze. Where's the new hoses? <laughs> new hoses? Oh, using that? Yeah, that thing's rock solid. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It's got life. It's homemade. It's okay. came out of the car. It worked fine, so we'll put it back in. Yeah, that should work. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if it was all crusty looking. No, no, if it was crusty looking, I would have got something different. That's fine. Frickin' sun's out now. Of course, when we're at the show, it rains it's rainy. Yeah. and come back. It's about 110 right now in this town. Yeah, it's warm. You should go sit over there in the shade. Thinking about it. No, less thinking, more doing. All right, we'll be back. Let's fight with this thing. We're watching Corey put the tank in. The other strap's getting caught. All right, I'll get that one here. Are you going to be able to get to your uh, sender unit and all that shit? I don't know. I don't think this is going to work because I'm too underneath it. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Duh. I'm an idiot. Oh, those are supposed to go. It goes this way. Ah, that oh, that sense. would make sense. Puh. Now I know what a porn star feels. <laughs> oh. Your other back strap is a little. Wait, let me. Don't grab my crotch. Bring it down. Down, 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 down. Okay. Uh huh. That makes more sense. There we go. Now, I'm gonna be smart about this. We'll take the bolts out, put those in. And we should both put the rubber in after. Yeah. I wonder if you're supposed to put those in first. That's what I'm doing right now. No, and then put the hook on. No, you now. gotta put the hook on first because you never get uh, it. Bailey, beat it. Beat it. Washers everywhere, people. Alright, put those over there. Okay, and that goes there. Alright. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Alright, I'm just testing. I'll put a washer. Uh, I hate to say, Chris, maybe we'll put the rubber in first. Yeah, okay. It's going to be tight. Yeah. Homemade rubber straps. Yeah. Look pretty good. We just went to an SM shop and... No, we didn't. I went for my roof vent. <laughs> from, from our roof vent. got to have some excitement. Cut up whatever you had. Yeah. <laughs> it is excitement. Something's better than nothing. All right, that's going to work. Just put you in this. Chris might have to man the wash. Oh, I can get the wash. Okay, one second. No. Uh oh. Oh, there's that guy. Ouch. Oh. My finger. Okay. Is there a nut in the washer? Ah, caught. Bite it. Oh, it popped out. Okay. Alright. Okay. And they got one strap on. Yeah, I know so. I'm crooked. Okay, so we uh, fought 
and we won, but the tank's in. But our homemade bolts aren't long enough. They bought them out and the tank's still loose. Because I guess Derek didn't, they're cheap carriage bolts that we had. I don't know where they came from, but you couldn't even really thread them. So we bought new bolts that are threaded all the way. So do one side at a time. Lovely. Not really. I wonder whose vehicle like, they keep revving up over there. I don't know. I'm wondering. Some idiot in a Chevy, probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> right, I guess I'll fight with this while you do whatever. Actually, you know what you could do? Start running, figure out lines. Guess Which it. side is this? I guess this side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Chevy. Oh. <laughs> Fuel pumps. Push passenger side. Uh, I don't know. I don't do Chevy fuel pumps you don't give a chevy about pumps no yeah get it get what i was trying to do yeah i really don't feel like putting these bolts in yeah well all right it's going the hardest part's going down don't uh, let the tank drop in your head no i'm gonna do one at a time oh yeah <clears throat> well i gotta get on you to do that drive shaft one of these days well i'm waiting for ryan for what he had not put my leg back together. He ripped oh. it apart. Oh! <laughs> I've been waiting for Ryan's work the evening. Oh! So when do you want to go there then? He yeah. might be there tomorrow night. So yeah. Maybe I'll go there tomorrow night. Okay. So Ryan's the culprit. Ryan's holding this project back. Yeah. Well, I can kind of put it back together. But... Because it's there's not much left. Like the brakes are done. Yeah. But you gotta put the, the shifter. I, I can finish that off. That like in an hour or so. That can be all done. Like everything clutch to work that's not big i just gotta take a bunch of crap off the front again to finish doing the balancer and then it's just hooking up spark plug wires i'm just gonna run those properly those probably those crappy header gaskets a bunch of little shit there's a lot of little shit eh? yeah go on i hope it's sunday and wednesday for sure okay so the fuel line is all run all the way to the front we just right now, it's going to go up there, but I'm going to zip here. Uh, I'll put a Dell clamps and I'll uh, run it to the fender well. I am going to put a few fuel filters in here. I just don't have. So we'll grab that uh, when I go to the city in the next day or two. So it's all hooked up. It's all done to the tank. Tank all it's wired up. It's hot as hell. We just came back from ice cream. Yeah. Humid as hell. Yeah, it's humid. The word. Yep. Ooh, I heard the neighbors shooting off pelicans. That means a squirrel just died. I don't get shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, uh, what are we gonna do next? Try mount the bumper? I guess so, yeah. All right, cool. Find some bolts. And... Yeah. Oh, another one. Unless he's got an awful shot and he's missing. Who knows? Well, also not coming over here. It's starting to look like Boyd Cotton or Rad Rods by Troy or something like that. Hey, Chris. More like Rad Rod Bob. <laughs> we got a bumper on, folks. Yeah. Those four bracket bolts. Not fun. Yeah, not. One broke. The other two, three. They were no competition to the sawzall afterwards. Yeah. Screw yeah. that noise. <sighs> so, yeah. So, the bumper's basically on. We'll, we'll adjust it later on. Uh, I guess we're going to wire up the taillights later on. Yeah. That's a, that's a Chris problem. And the license plate light. Yeah. Yet again, Chris problem. Yeah. Um, pretty much done, so that's good. Yeah, I'll, we'll get fuel filters next time in the city. And uh, yeah, then I'll get header gas because I'll start finishing up underneath here the hood. And then I know I said I'd probably get the video at least turning over, or the engine turning over in the city, but that ain't happening. I get lazy. Yeah, there's just a bunch of little Probably. Shit to do yeah. And so next it, video, we'll get it. And especially when it's hot and humid and face it folks it's car show season you know it's nice to go out like today we went out you know we're lazy yeah that's true i was trying to sugarcoat it you know <laughs> trying to make you know oh and who did we uh what? oh um sheldon sheldon yeah sheldon from around uh Noli said something yeah he has a 52 so. ford 51 or 52 yeah. ford yeah said our videos on the ford helped him a lot so yeah his truck's pretty snazzy six cylinder i was pretty impressed yeah four speed he took a picture of us. Yeah. It's better than Kevin's uh, Chevy engine in for <laughs> Shut up, Chris. You know where the exit of the, the lane is. Yeah, I'll be leaving shortly. 
Sun's going down. Got to get the car indoors. Yeah. I want the zombies to come. In. Oh yeah. Bucky. By zombies, you mean meth heads? Uh, yeah. That's fair. Alrighty, I think we're gonna call it a video. Yep. I'm gonna clean up my mess and call it a night and make some spaghetti. Uh, no, seriously, spaghetti and I put up ground beef in it? Mwah. Seriously, sorry. Can't all eat at Taco Bell every day. <laughs> night, uh, why would you be eating spaghetti at night? That way I have leftovers, I make uh, lots, that way I have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Lumber signs. Mm. Alrighty, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Surely Chris saying peace out. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding behind the cherry picker. Still see you, dumbass. <laughs>